Mars has always intrigued humanity, and recent discoveries have only fueled our curiosity. New findings suggest that Mars once had conditions similar to Earth, offering insights into its potential for future exploration. This video will explore three key revelations. The discovery of salt deposits in Terra Serenum, a novel approach to terraforming Mars using dust nanoparticles, and the confirmation of an ancient lake bed in Corallus Chaos. So without further ado, let's get started. The European Space Agency's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter recently captured an intriguing image showing what appears to be a salty purple mermaid in the southern part of Mars. The purple hue in this image is due to chloride salt deposits found in what used to be a riverbed. This region, known as Terra Serenum, or the Sea of the Sirens, is particularly important because these salt deposits are strong evidence that water once existed on Mars billions of years ago. On Earth, chloride salts like these are usually left behind when water evaporates from lakes or seas, and it seems the same process occurred on Mars. The specific type of salt found here is similar to Epsom salts, which are made up of magnesium and sulfuric acid. These salts likely formed when water, rich in magnesium from underground sources, interacted with sulfuric acid on the surface. This process suggests that Mars was once warmer and wetter than it is today. The existence of these salts in a dried up riverbed strongly indicates that water once flowed across the Martian surface, possibly creating environments that could have supported life. These salts may have formed through repeated cycles of evaporation and rehydration, where water would pick up salts, evaporate, and then turn back into liquid, repeating the cycle. This would have required a stable and relatively warm climate, hinting that Mars once had conditions suitable for life. The location of these salts in Terra Serenum adds another layer of intrigue. This region is part of Mars's southern highlands, an area shaped by ancient impacts and heavily cratered. The presence of salts here suggests that this area might have been part of a vast network of lakes and rivers that covered much of Mars's southern hemisphere. This network could have created ideal conditions for the development of microbial life, making this area a key target for future exploration. For those interested in the possibility of life on Mars, these salt deposits could contain preserved organic molecules or other biosignatures, offering direct evidence of past life on Mars. This also raises important questions about Mars's climate history and the processes that led to the loss of its atmosphere and water. By understanding these processes, scientists may determine whether Mars could one day become habitable again, either naturally or through human intervention. As the dream of human colonization on Mars edges closer to reality, scientists are tackling the immense challenge of making the red planet habitable. One of the most innovative ideas recently proposed is the concept of terraforming Mars using dust nanoparticles. This idea, developed by researchers from Northwestern University and the University of Chicago, suggests that Mars could be warmed by dispersing engineered dust particles into its atmosphere. These nanoparticles, made from materials already abundant on Mars, could enhance the planet's greenhouse effect, potentially raising surface temperatures by more than 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. While the idea of terraforming Mars isn't new, earlier proposals have often been dismissed as impractical due to the vast resources they would require. For instance, one method involved transporting large quantities of greenhouse gases from Earth to Mars, which would be both costly and logistically challenging. However, this new proposal takes a more feasible approach by utilizing resources that are already present on Mars. The planet's surface is rich in dust, particularly in iron and aluminum. By processing this dust into tiny nanorods, scientists believe they can create particles that are highly efficient at trapping heat. These nanorods, similar in size to commercially available glitter, would be released into the Martian atmosphere, where they would scatter sunlight and trap escaping thermal infrared radiation. This would amplify Mars's natural greenhouse effect, gradually warming the planet's surface. According to the researchers, releasing these particles at a rate of 30 liters per second could produce noticeable warming within just a few months. Notably, the warming effect would be reversible, 
If any unintended consequences arose, the release of nanoparticles could simply be halted. A key strength of this proposal is its practicality. Unlike other terraforming methods that depend on importing materials from Earth, this approach relies entirely on resources available on Mars, making the project more achievable. Additionally, the required material is significantly less than in previous proposals. Researchers estimate that 700 million cubic feet of Martian dust would need to be processed annually to produce the necessary nanoparticles, a fraction of the annual metal production on Earth. However, despite the promise of warming Mars with dust nanoparticles, this concept also raises several ethical and scientific questions. The long-term effects of introducing nanoparticles into Mars's atmosphere are not fully understood. There is a possibility that these particles could alter the planet's climate in unforeseen ways, potentially disrupting any existing ecosystems or complicating future exploration efforts. Furthermore, if Mars is found to have its own microbial life, terraforming the planet could pose significant risks to these organisms. The ethical implications of altering an entire planet's environment must be carefully considered before any large-scale terraforming project is initiated. Despite these challenges, this proposal marks a significant advancement in our ability to modify Mars's climate and make it more suitable for human habitation. While the idea of terraforming Mars through dust nanoparticles is a forward-looking concept aimed at making the planet habitable, our understanding of Mars's potential for life is deeply rooted in its past. The recent confirmation of an ancient lake bed in the Corallus Chaos region provides a critical piece of this puzzle, offering fresh insights into the planet's geological and hydrological history. This discovery, made by the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter, provides compelling evidence that Mars once hosted significant bodies of liquid water, offering a stable environment where life could have potentially developed. The lake, known as Lake Eridania, was once larger than any existing lake on Earth, covering an area roughly the size of Egypt. Located in Mars's southern hemisphere, this region is marked by its rugged terrain and extensive volcanic activity. The images captured by the Mars Express Orbiter reveal a landscape shaped by both water and volcanic forces. The lake bed is a remnant of a much larger body of water that existed around 3.7 billion years ago, during a time when Mars had a thicker atmosphere and a more temperate climate. The presence of water in this region suggests that Mars was once a dynamic and potentially habitable world. A particularly striking aspect of this region is the network of channels and valleys crisscrossing the landscape. These features provide clear evidence of the significant role that water played in shaping the Martian surface. The lake that once filled the Corallis Chaos Basin would have been fed by a complex system of rivers and streams which carried water from higher elevations down into the low-lying basin. As Mars's climate changed and its atmosphere thinned, the lake began to evaporate, leaving behind the dried-up lake bed and the intricate network of channels visible today. The remnants of Lake Eridania and the surrounding terrain offer a unique opportunity to study Mars's geological and hydrological history in greater detail. By analyzing the sediments and rocks in this region, scientists can gain valuable insights into the planet's climate history and the processes that led to the loss of its atmosphere and water. The idea that Mars was once home to large bodies of water, and possibly even life, captures the imagination and fuels our desire to explore and understand this distant world. The identification of salt deposits in Terra Serenum, the concept of terraforming Mars using dust nanoparticles, and the confirmation of an ancient lake bed in Corallis Chaos suggest that Mars was once much more dynamic and possibly habitable. Thank you for watching. As we continue to study the Red Planet, we are not just learning about a distant world, we are also learning about the possibilities for life beyond Earth. The question of whether Mars could once have supported life or could do so in the future remains one of the most intriguing challenges of our time.